Hello friends, welcome to my channel, a channel for learning simple coding. If you find this video to be helpful, please like, share and subscribe my channel. In this video, we are going to understand generic IMPL and methods in Rust. So how to create generic methods that we are going to understand with the help of a structure and how to use this display, copy, std ops add std ops sum multiply division what is all these things that we are going to understand in this class number 36 it's a very very important and little bit difficult also because it's not a normal programming to understand it's a high level of programming to understand so now we are going to create a new project for this so i say cargo new class number 36 and i say generic IMPL like this so I say class go to this now again we open the main one now I create a generic structure so I say struct I give name rectangle here I say T I pass only T one data type because in multiple data type it become more tough and hard to understand so we are creating it like this I say width is tree type of data and height is also of t type of data so generic is there now i create a method for that i say impl here i say t and here i say rectangle of t type like this and here i define a method i say fn i say get area and here i try to return the value of t from this function like that and what i do i do here self also like that and i say here let result equal to self dot width multiply by self dot height and you will see the problem here and then i result then i display or return this result here so this is all about this is generic structure this is generic method by using IMPL, we are passing this generic value here as a parameter of T. This is one. Now I create the variable of this generic structure. So I say let or I say R1 equal to rectangle. In rectangle, I provide the value. So I say the width is integer type 34. Height is of integer type. So I say 45 like this and I make it like this. And now I call println like this or and I say area of rectangle equal to like this and I say r1 dot get area. Nothing is special. It's a very very simple code in terms of other programming language but not simple in Rust. So I try to compile it and try to understand the error and solve those error you see so we have this problem so that you see this is the problem multiply problem remember that so you can't multiply generic data type like this remember that it is not an ordinary one you have to specify here that what you want to do we want to do multiplication then we have to specify by using a trait as i explain here that these trait we have to use whether you want to do multiplication addition subtraction so i am i want to do multiplication though i have to use this if you want to do adding then you have to use this if you want to do subtraction then you have to use this so i want multiplication because i'm doing multiplication of these variables so it's showing me error like this so first of all i solve this problem so i import this i say use std oops operation mul like this i have to use it semicolon also then i have to use it here i say i say here m u l remember that like this and i save this try to execute it once again you see one more error because this mul cannot be used a simple way we have to use it and we have to define the output variable also remember that because we are doing output here i using up for output here t so here we have to specify this one also so i need to specify which one is output so i need to specify like this this is a output so we have saved this now once again try to execute it now you see one more error we have remember that so there are so many errors are there 
so we have to understand these error one by one and we have to use it one by one so it's saying that you have to use copy traits also remember that so we have to use here copy traits also so i need to plus and i say copy remember that that i need to use here like that because i am doing a copy of this variable to this and not only that i have to import this also i say use std i say make marker and i say copy remember that this copy is available in this marker library now i try to execute once again and you see everything is okay and you have a this one simple one you see so by doing all these things we are able to execute a method of generic data type under the impl you see that we are going to understand now if i want to display this code means if this area i want to display inside here means i don't want to return any value and i say i don't want to return any value for example if i say like this and i remove it from here and i say it is result remember that now scenario is change so i need to call it like this without this now i run it once again then you will see one more error now this is the display error you see display problem is there remember that so if you are not returning a value from this function then you have to specify here display remember not copy you have to specify display and for display you have to use use here std then i say fmt then i say display so you can make it comment because it is not useful now now try to run once again and you see that it is showing the one more error that you need to specify copy also because we are using variable of this so here i need to use copy also otherwise it would not allow to run you see now it is okay so it is doing the same thing but now we are printing the information within a function remember that we have to use these traits also these are inbuilt traits that we are going to specify here that what you want to do with these variable so rust does not allow you to do your type of coding it allowed to do restricted type of coding so we have to use all these things because we don't want that this code should collapse in the memory that's why this rust is a memory safe and that's a programming language so each and everything we implement on time of coding each and every concept to secure your code we have to implement at coding time you see that so you see that just to print the record print the area within a method we have to modify the code like this remember that so without using these traits we are not able to make generic programming with methods in rust programming language remember that but if i make here two variable if i say here two variable and if i put here two type of different data type remember that then scenario is different then you will have more error so test yourself that how to execute a code if you are having a multiple variables in place of one data type if you have multiple data type then how you can make such kind of program that is also very very tough and very very you can say strict also so do yourself if you are able to do then comment on my video and i will also see that you are able to do that or not if you will execute with two parameter that means you have a mastery in generic programming language in rust okay so test yourself passing two parameter right now in this video i have explained you that what is the generic methods how to create and use this with the help of impl what is display traits what is copy traits and what is the mean of these traits also that we have understand in this video so if you like this if you learn something new and something interesting in this video please do subscribe thank you for watching this video Thank you.